Well, it's Friday. It's so you Friday. know you already know what that means. It's time for our weekly roundup where we review all the latest headlines. And here to help us is comedian Leanne Lord and the founder of Media Takeout, Fred Mawonga Gahunga. Mawonga Gahunga. Mawonga Gahunga. <laughs> I love that name. You have to be sober in order to say that name. Right? <laughs> it just makes you want to beat your chest, right? Mawonga Gahunga. Exactly. I love it. Because all of us do it except you. So there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got to talk about Beyonce. Let's just yes. get this party started. On stage, at her concert, a fan gets too excited and slaps her on the booty. Yes. yes. Inappropriate, Seriously. appropriate. What do you guys think of that? I, I, Please. Okay, I mean, I, I think it was definitely inappropriate. But remember, Beyonce was there. She loves going into the state, into the fans. I mean, she mm -hmm. did earlier this year. She was in Serbia, and the same thing happened. A fan came and smacked her in the head. So <laughs> and Be pulled her hair. Yeah, pulled her hair too. So I mean, Beyonce loves the idea of being so close, up close and personal with the mm -hmm. fans. But you know what? It can get dangerous. Right, Leanne. Mean, what do you I, think? I don't know how they do it in Denmark. I don't think physical contact uh, is included in the price of a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, the song is not. If you like it, then you should have put it hand on it. That's oh. not how it goes. I like that. That's a remix. <laughs> you heard it right here. All right. <laughs> should have put a hand on it. Yeah, no, no, we're not doing that. I don't care how bootylicious you are. You don't touch somebody else's jelly without permission. That's oh, very gosh. true. Rules to live by. There you go. Okay. By. All right. Amanda Bynes. We've been just talked about this. It's been in the news. You know, she's got arrested. They said she was smoking. She threw a bong. But only thing that we can find that she's guilty of is this bad wig. Look at that thing. Oh, I know. <laughs> What's going on with this? What do you guys lady? think? Well, first of all, uh, this might actually be the first piece of good luck that she has because they didn't find any hard evidence. Right. So that she's going to get off on this. Um, what I think people need to remember is that it was her, uh, the doorman who mm -hmm. called the cops because he smelled weed in the lobby. She lives on the 37th floor. Oh. So we should learn from this that you really should tip your doorman at Christmas. That's true. Wow. Maybe want, that's the crime. That's what I'm saying. If you want to smoke weed, tip your doorman. He won't rat you right. out. That's true. Fred, Good do you point. tip before you smoke your weed? Uh, <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Nicely done. But Nicely saying, done. You, know, you look at a man's like, it's not a little envelope. No. <laughs> oh, wow. It must be Friday. Hey, look at this. Right. You're, you're right. I mean, but look, I mean, think about it. Amanda Bynes, her career obviously is not over. I mean, you look at Lindsay Lohan, there's especially a lot of Caucasian actresses, young actresses, mm -hmm. they're able to bounce back from a lot of this stuff. Mm -hmm. So Amanda Bynes, now she's gotten her name in the paper. Mm -hmm. Before she was doing all this crazy stuff, no one even knew who she was. That's true. Now we're talking about her, you mm -hmm. know, she's on Twitter, people are, are, are looking at her, and you know, her entire profile is just raised. So amazing. maybe so... she's not crazy, maybe she's crazy like a fox. What mm -hmm. if this is one massive publicity stunt? Hmm. Interesting. Very well, could be. I might need to change my game. <laughs> <laughs> I need a wig. You need a bad wig. I need a bad, bad wig. wig. <laughs> okay, let's talk about Miguel drop kicking the girl. <sighs> what did you guys make of that? When I mean, you first saw it, what'd you think? I thought it was absolutely crazy. I mean, when he just jumped, and there are fans right there. They're, and he hit a lot right on the head. He didn't even apologize. He just kind of moved on with the whole thing. Oh, oh he was still singing. The show must go on. You know, what was more interesting was the reaction of the fan that was trying to help the girl, and then he reached out to hug her, and she's like, oh, oh, we're on camera? He's yeah, touching right. me. <laughs> sorry, girl, sorry about but you. You know what I want to know? Miguel's were, touching me. There were two women that got leg dropped, right? We only uh -huh. keep talking about one. What happened to that second woman? Maybe the right? other one wasn't, wasn't here. Hurt. Yeah, right, or that. You know, Maybe she's still cute. on the ground in I'm the mosque. Yeah. That, that, that lawyer that was right over here, he needs to go find her, Kenneth right? Montgomery needs to find that other I one. I sure right? would have been like, my neck and my back, my neck. <laughs> that's a different song. I think that's a song. <laughs> <laughs> and we can't sing that song no. right here. Well, what about Jodi Arias? She's making mm -hmm. headlines because obviously she was found guilty of mm -hmm. killing her ex. What do you think about Lifetime making a movie about Jodi Arias and the trial? I mean, Lifetime, they have really been slipping. I mean, back in the 90s, they were really hitting it with these, these movies, right? Mm -hmm. And they just kind of slipped off on the whole thing. But I think Jodi Arias is a perfect example of a trial that could work. Mm -hmm. I mean, remember, Lifetime, when they greenlit this program, mm -hmm. They were, the trial was actually still going on, so there was no ending mm -hmm. even in written. But mm -hmm. they knew from those first few weeks right. that Absolutely. this is a story. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm actually not surprised that they're doing a movie. I'm surprised it's not in 3D. Ooh. Oh, because everything is, right? You know what? I really, you know what? I just have this vision that one of the producers was actually standing right there next to her going, girl, stab her again. <laughs> <laughs> this is good TV. This is good TV. That's why that 27 stab was. They were trying to get the camera angle right. See? See? <laughs> See, I'm gonna hold out. I'm gonna wait until they're gonna do the musical on Broadway. That's when I'm gonna go oh, see okay. it. Jody Arias, trial Jody on Broadway. Jody Arias, the musical on ice. Oh. 
go oh, with. Oh, on ice. You got all ice. kinds of twists going on. That's what I'm oh saying. You got to think big. You, you got to do think. the Hollywood picture. <laughs> okay, well, picks. speaking of a Hollywood picture, <laughs> J-Lo gave everyone an eye full. Yeah, talk about <laughs> 3D. talent with this leotard that made headlines because they yes. say it was a little too revealing for their audience. I didn't see a problem with it, Fred. I liked it. I mean, I liked that she was bending over, busting it. She was doing everything that she should have done. Right. Stage She's a performer. Yeah. Yes. That's what she does. And I, I enjoyed the performance. I mean, it's J-Lo. Were they expecting her to wear a burka? I mean, come oh. on now. That's true. That's true. And you know what? Don't lose sight again of the big picture. She is 43. Mm. Mm. And still rocking it. That's mm. true. So somebody was jealous because she looked all That's good. That's what I'm her saying. Leotard. And remember too, the one other thing, right? She that actually was a regular leotard, right? Mm -hmm. Her booty just swallowed half of it. <laughs> Wow. So she's gonna lose that dance skin endorsement, is what you're saying? Her booty swallowed half of it. Booty swallowed, that's not her fault. Wow. That sounds like somebody's Twitter handle. Oh. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Okay, so a list of the highest paid DJs just came out, and apparently Paulie D Pauly made D. the top 50. He's worth $15 million. Number 21. What are we doing crazy. wrong? DJ Tiesto, he's topped the list. He's making $75 Seven million. Dollars. million. I mean, I mean, it sounds what? crazy, but you think about the people. I mean, I went to Vegas, and you see the size of these clubs mm -hmm. and how many people are in it and how much they're spending. These clubs are making hundreds of thousands of dollars a night. But you're spending records, Fred. Well, I mean, come on. Come, okay, now, 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 come on. $75 million have you, records? Have you been at a club with a bad DJ? Well, yeah. When you true. would pay to have him stop? Yes, well, that's yeah. true. Or when they just talk too much. Like, would you just let the record let, play? Let the record play. Man. Uh oh, did Let's, you just show your oh, age? Okay. No, no, no. I, no, not at all. <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> Before we get to ages. Uh, okay, so the Canada Miss Universe contest. They crowned the wrong lady. Mm -hmm. She did get to hold on to it for 24 hours, though. 24 hours. But seriously, hours. the wrong woman. They mm -hmm. blamed it on somebody else, some intern or something. Right, right. Yeah, that's <laughs> what happens when you don't carry the one, well. apparently, when you do the math on mm. this thing. You know what? I actually saw the interview between the two ladies, and they were incredible incredibly beautiful mm. and gracious, and I said, mm -mm, no, I would have been really childish. I'm like, nuh uh, <laughs> all mine, all mine, no, I got dibs, no take backs. I mean, you but, think about it, it's just no a bad situation backs. for both, right? Yeah. The winner, right, she didn't have her moment to walk on the stage, yes. and the loser loses the crown, right? So mm -hmm. it's just like everyone loses. Why don't they just like, who, cares, who really cares who won? She was a third one, right? She was, she a, third was a third. One. Yeah. Third, first, whatever. They should have just let her keep the title, exactly. right? Exactly. At least let her Maybe. keep a secondary crown. I know, you know? <laughs> right. You don't yeah, get it's Aww. a lose-lose all around. Well, You're right about they'd that. They'd had to pry that crown from my cold dead hand. I wasn't <laughs> Dang! You could have been like, I lost it, sorry. <laughs> I can't I where did I put that crown? <laughs> 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 you guys well, are Leanne, so much fun. Well, Leanne, where can fun. people see you perform? Oh, my goodness. Actually, tomorrow night, I will be at a club called The Laughing Devil. The okay. Laughing okay. Devil? The Laughing okay. Devil. Is that in Manhattan, Brooklyn? Th that's actually in Long Island, Night, in Long Island City, right outside Manhattan. Okay. Very, very short train ride. And I can hear folks now, oh, I'm busy. I don't care if you're busy. Mm. Visit my website, Very Funny Lady, and find a show that suits you. Okay. okay. And the Laughing that's Devil. An option. Mm -hmm. All right. And MediaTakeout.com. That's, that's where right. we find you and all the juicy gossip. Yes. All of them. Yes. All right. Well, thank you so much, guys. Thank you. And have a great weekend. Thank You're you. watching Arise Entertainment 360.